What time is it? Huh! It's video response time! Good thing I'm dressed for the occasion. Well, let's do it. Vinyl community, how are you guys doing? Uh, Jex Russell, back again with a video response. As you may have guessed from the title here, uh, this is a video response to Mr. Frank Landry over at Channel 33 RPM. Um, I don't think I need to explain to you who Frank is. If you're watching my channel, guaranteed you're already watching Frank's channel. But just in case, just on the off chance that you don't know who Frank is, definitely go check out his channel. Uh, always interesting. Always interesting. He's got great topics. He shows off great titles. Uh, and as I've mentioned before, it's his editing that really just amazes me, uh, impresses me. It's just he, he really goes above and beyond when it comes to the editing. And it, it's it's as good as watching something on TV. Like it, it You feel the production value. So uh, definitely check out uh, Frank's channel, Channel 33 RPM. And also he has a, uh, a merch store where you can get yourselves t-shirts such as this one here. See? Channel 33 RPM. So uh, links to all that stuff will be down below. Now, uh, in Frank's last video, uh, his latest video, he showed off 10 grails. That is 10 records that he would just love to have in his collection. And I thought that was a great topic. And it uh, really got me thinking. I put on the old thinking cap and I thought, you know what? I'm going to make a video too. A video response uh, talking about the 10, uh, 10 titles I'd like to find. Um, and it's not, you know, some of these, it's not that they're ultra rare or, or, you know, I mean, some of them are kind of on the pricier side, but most of these, it's not that they're really rare. It's just that something you should know about me is that I don't, uh, shop online. I never have. It's just not something I've gotten into. Um, it, to me, it's all about the thrill of the hunt. You know, sometimes it could take years, but it's when you find that record that you've been wanting for like five years and you finally get your hands on it. That's quite the feeling, and I love that. That's So that's why I could never, you know, I could never get into online shopping. Plus, I hate paying shipping. It just, it's just not for me. I know a lot of people do it, and I get the convenience aspect of it. I totally get it. So, you know, I'm not judging. I'm just saying it's not for me. I'd, I'd love to go out in the wild and find records. So <laughs> I'm just letting you guys know before you say, well, Jack, these are easy to find on Amazon or eBay. I know. I just, I prefer to find them out, out in the wild. Um... So yeah, that being said, let's start with the list, shall we? Uh, the first one, um, as soon as I saw Frank's title, this is the first one that came to mind. I'm like, oh, I'd love to get my hands on that record. And then he ended up uh, showing it off. It was his number four, and it's Motley Crue, Too Fast for Love, specifically the Leather Records uh, version. And that, uh, I haven't checked the, um, the actual prices, but I think Frank mentioned it goes to like about the $200 uh, price range, which is crazy, but uh, it is the uh, the superior version of the album. Uh, the track listing is superior, the mix is superior, and uh, Frank did mention how uh, there are some leather records disguised <laughs> as the Electra pressings, because uh, when uh, when the band got their their uh, record deal with Electra, um, the record label rushed out some some copies of Too Fast for Love, and most of them still had the leather. Um, track listing and mix and uh, I actually I don't have that on vinyl but I do have it on cassette so this is my copy here of Too Fast for Love see it's Electra but the track listing and the mix is the leather mix which I love um, because on the Electra version you do not have the song Stick to Your Guns which is an awesome song um, I never understood why they got rid of that and I'm just gonna take a second to show off this is my my CD copy this is the Motley Records release released in 2000 and what's cool is that they actually included stick to your guns as a bonus track and they have it labeled here as an unreleased track lies it was released electra took it away uh and it also this also has the uh the extended version of uh too fast for love with the alternate intro which is uh i think is is a good uh, good version of that song so yeah too fast for love on leather records would we'll love to find that uh that record but I know it's uh, <laughs> too rich for my blood right now next up the mighty overkill with their 1987 album taking over 
I would love to find that album. I, I barely ever find any Overkill on vinyl. Actually, I never I never stumble upon Overkill on vinyl. I have a few on CD, but that's it. But Taking Over, I never see anywhere, and I would love to to find it. It's, it's pretty special to my heart because the first Overkill song I ever heard ages ago was uh, Power Surge from that album, and it's my, it's my favorite Overkill song now. So, uh, yeah, that, and it's a killer record, and, um, yeah, it's usually, I mean, I've seen it online. I, I, I'm always curious. Sometimes I'm like, should I get it online? And I look, and um, it's about, you know, the record is never under $30, which for me, $30 for a record is kind of pricey, but ju that's just because I'm broke, and I can't afford it at the moment, so anything over 30 is kind of pricey for a record. Plus, you got shipping, as I mentioned, so... Yeah, but I would love the day I, I, I stumble upon that record out in the wild. I'll be a very happy Jax. Uh, next one up, Detritus with their 1990 album, Perpetual Defiance. Uh, for those of you who don't know Detritus, they are a Brit British Christian uh, thrash metal band. And I discovered them by pure accident. I was at a thrift store and I found uh, the CD copy of the album. Here it is, Perpetual D Defiance. I got this for a dollar. Didn't know what it was, but I, I, I was intrigued by the cover, and I gave it a chance, and uh, it is absolutely fantastic. And um, I'll bet that it sounds amazing on vinyl. That's my, my one beef with this, with this CD copy. The mastering is so low. I always have to crank it up when I listen to it, so I'm sure that the, uh, the vinyl copy probably sounds uh, much better. But uh, yeah, Detritus, Perpetual Defiance on vinyl would be absolutely amazing. The next one, Witchfinder General with Death Penalty. And simply because I don't have any albums in my collection with boobs on the cover. So, you know, I'd like to, I'd like to change that. <laughs> no. Uh, it, is, it is an absolutely fantastic um, doom metal album. I, I, I've loved it ever since I, I first heard it. Um, I, heard, I heard about it from uh, Scott Waters and Trog in one of their uh, Hard and Heavy videos. And um, ever since then, I... I was blown away by it. It's, it's a great album. And I actually found it out in the wild once last summer uh, at Taz Records in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Uh, I found a, um, it was a picture disc. And I'm not, I'm not really into picture discs, but I, I, I debated, I debated, but it was 40 bucks. I'm like, 40 bucks, it's a picture disc. Money's kind of tight. So I just decided not to get it. But I'd like to find just an actual plain black vinyl copy of it eventually. That would be cool. And the next record is Gothic Slam with Killer Instinct. Gothic Slam, awesome, heavy metal. Um, I was actually introduced to them by Pla, and he was introduced to them by, I believe, Corey's VC channel. So, you know, the VC keeps on giving. Uh, but yeah, they, I, I loved it. As soon as Pla, you know, put on that album, it starts off at the beginning, it starts off with, I'm not gonna say it, but it starts off with, F this! And oh, I love that. Every time I'm having a bad day, I'll put on that song. It's called Skankin'. I'll just put that on. It's like, F this. So yeah, Gothic Slam. Um, and that was only ever released, I think, on a vinyl and maybe cassette. But there's no official CD version of it. Um, you can find some unofficial releases on Discogs. I've looked, but um, no official CD was ever released for that album, which is kind of weird. It's a killer album. Next one up, Sacred Reich with The American Way. I, I discovered that the title track I discovered from a little movie from the 90s called Encino Man. And um, I remember just looking up, like, who's this band? And uh, I've been on a quest for the album ever since, and I, I never see it out in the wild. Uh, original pressings go for quite a bit of money online, so it's going to have to wait. And the next one, Agent Steel, Unstoppable Force. Great thrash metal. Um, yeah, it's same old story as the other ones. I, I never see it out in the wild. That one there, though, last night, just for fun, I was looking on Amazon. And the record is under 30 bucks, So it's uh, it's pretty reasonable. And the CD was, I think, 16 bucks or something. So it's, it, it's, it's affordable. It's affordable. So that one there, I know I could easily get it online. But like I said, it's the thrill of the hunt, guys. I love just going out and finding stuff. It's, uh, so yeah, so that's my weird little quirk. Um, next record, Exciter, Heavy Metal Maniac, but also really anything by Exciter. It's not exclusive to that album. I would love to find anything by Exciter. Don't have anything from them. Um, 
as I've mentioned for Anvil, Exciter is the same deal. They're, they are a Canadian band, and you'd think they'd be easy to find here in Canada. Not the case. I never come across anything by Exciter, so uh, to find anything uh, from them would be awesome. Uh, the next one up, got a little story with this one. Kiss, Creatures of the Night. Um, well, any version really, but specifically I'd love to find the 1985 uh, version with uh, Bruce Kulick on the cover. Um, and the story is that I actually had that in my hands um, a couple of years ago. I was just starting out college and I went to Valley Village one afternoon and there it was. And I had it in my hands and I was debating. I think they wanted 15 bucks for it. And you know, I would. I'd, I would pay 15 bucks for it. But at the time I was like, I'm starting out college. I really shouldn't. And, I ended up not getting it, but in hindsight, I should have. It, it wasn't in the best shape, but it wasn't in the worst. Um, I remember my main concern was that it didn't have an inner sleeve, but I would have, I would have got a sleeve for it. Like, oh, I'm kicking myself. But yeah, the uh, the the Bruce Kulick cover um, of Creatures of the Night that would be cool to find, and I had it in my hands, man. Like, mm. um, and also like I'd love to have just the regular release as well, but that one's a little easier to find. So yeah, Creatures of the Night. And last but certainly not least, Wrathchild America with Climb in the Walls. Um, again, amazing uh, heavy metal, thrash metal. Uh, I, I discovered them way back in the day. Well, on YouTube, actually, when I was, you know, just searching anything metal. And uh, I just stumbled upon them by accident. The title track, Climb in the Walls, and I'm like, this is good. And uh, that's just another one that I never see out in the wild. And I tried to find a, just a CD copy on Amazon last year, and I forget the actual price, but it was ridiculous. They wanted like in the hundreds. Um, and I'm like, not for a CD? I don't think so, you know, like a CD, it's such a fragile media. You look at it the wrong way and it, scra it scratches. <laughs> so I'm not gonna pay hundreds of dollars for a CD. No thanks. So uh, there you have it guys, that's my list. 10 grails, the 10 records that I would love to find, but this list could have easily been 20, 30, 40. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Check out Channel 33 RPM, Frank Landry. Uh, he is an awesome dude. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. And uh, we'll discuss. Adios, amigos.